Hello everyone, thanks so much for coming back to Clever TV. I'm Dana Ward with Jocelyn Davis. And if you watch the season finale of The Vampire Diaries, you will be saying, she's back! Elise <laughs> Zhao is in the studio. Ooh. Hello, hello. Hi, guys. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I have to say, our entire studio was on fire. That was the best season finale on TV, yeah. I think, last season. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Like, I mean, what was it like to know that that was coming and just be like lying in wait, knowing that everyone's about to freak Ooh. out? It was crazy because it was kept a secret for two weeks. I mean, whenever I got the phone call two weeks before I went out to film, my manager definitely stressed to me, do not tell anyone. A lot of my family didn't even know, my best oh friends my didn't know. So it was a shock to everyone. I think some people were even mad that it's like, why did you tell me this? But uh, I think I think it was well worth the secret. And uh, like you said, I mean, everyone was just on fire about it on Twitter and Facebook. Everyone got to tell yeah. me how excited they were, which is really cool. So what do you think she is? What is Anna now? Like, yeah, is she straight no up idea. a ghost? Or what, like do you, what do you think? I don't know. Or, I mean, yeah. there, I mean, that would be cool if they bring in another facet to the show with the spirits and stuff. But I mean, right now, I have no idea what's going to be happening. So I guess we'll see. It's going to be a surprise for you, too. <laughs> it really is. Is a surprise and a secret yet oh again. Oh my gosh! Years. Everything's pretty secretive on the show, right? Very Script secretive. wise, yeah. Everyone, everyone keeps mum. It's uh, you know, it's just kind of how it goes on the Vampire Diaries because we're all about twists and turns uh -huh. and surprising people and shocking stuff, and uh, that's that's the way it goes. Yeah. Like, when do you actually get your scripts? I get my scripts, I got my script for the finale for season two, literally right before I boarded the plane to fly to Atlanta to film. Oh my goodness. So I had no so idea crazy. what I was going to be doing and it was a surprise for me on the plane. I was like, oh my gosh, reading it from my phone and people were probably like, what is this chick reading on her phone doing? <laughs> what is she doing right now? But that's how it goes. And uh, for, for season one, it would be like a couple days before. There were so many revisions and stuff like that. So you really had to be on it and everything was just on the fly for that show. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I know we kind of talked about this when we met at a recent movie premiere mm -hmm. about how you found out you were coming back to the show. But I'm also wondering, I mean, you were on the first season and you know, anything can happen on this show. Right. But were you like really bummed out when your character got killed off? Oh my off? gosh, that like? bummed out is an understatement <laughs> whenever I found out that she was dying. But um, you know, it, it was a great run. Whenever I initially booked the show, it was supposed to be two to four episodes. So the fact that it wow. turned out being 11 episodes for Anna, I mean, I feel like she got a great character mm -hmm. arc and stuff like that. And I mean, it was really, really sad. It was truly sad. I mean, I gave her my all and the whole cast and crew, Aww. they were so, so bummed out. But um, I feel like she she did what she came, you know, she, she accomplished whatever she was supposed to do on the show and I was okay with that. I moved mm -hmm. on. But getting the phone call and knowing that I was going to be going back was just <laughs> Unbelievable. Amazing. Did you yeah. think it was a joke? I mean, what did you think when you found out? You're like, wait, I died. I, I was What's going on? I was numb. I uh, My mind was racing, but it didn't really hit me after like a few days. I mean, it took a while for me mm -hmm. to be like, I'm going to be going back. I mean, Whoa. I became like family with that cast and crew, and that mm -hmm. was one of my favorite shows to work on. So it was really an honor to know that I was going to be going back. Well, there are like all of these Facebook pages dedicated to to team Anna I know. and like YouTube I know. videos. I know, I love my team Anna, yeah, right. just throwing hey. that out there. I love so, you guys so much. Well, they yeah. helped bring you back. You I, know? I, I really think they did. I think the, the internet and their voice really had a huge influence on them bringing me back. So shout out to everyone. I mean, the internet is so powerful these days, so. Yeah, no, that is really true if you think about like the power that the fans have because yeah. really the writers could take the show in any direction. Mm -hmm. If you had to guess, what do you think it is that people really gravitate towards when you know we're talking about your relationship with Stephen McQueen's character as well as you know Vicky and his relationship, why do you think the fans really gravitate towards that? I'm not sure. The whole vampire like love thing. I know. I, I mean, I think there's like a, a mystery thing that comes with vampires, and they're dangerous, and they could kill you at any second, but they don't because they love you so much. Oh. I'm not <laughs> sure. I mean, I'm thinking that's it, but uh, I, I know for Anna, people really related to her because she had also the relationship with her mom and wanting to get her back, mm -hmm. and then her dying, which was so sad. I mean, Anna went through a lot now that I look back on definitely. it. And, but I think the love, especially with uh, Anna and Jeremy, definitely uh, people love that. And I love that as well. That was so much fun for me. 
Now, since you don't know what's going to happen in this uh, next season <laughs> right. with Anna, why do you think Vicky and Anna came back? What's your best guess as an insider working on the I have no idea. I mean, I think the obvious thing is, um, you know, they're Jeremy past loves or something like that. But I'm, I'm not quite sure. But like I said, it was an honor because I know a lot of people had died since I left the show and uh, since Kayla left the show. So the fact that they picked out us too, I mean, it's great. And I'm thankful to everyone behind the scenes for bringing us back and giving yeah. us another chance. Yeah. Do you think they're good or evil or both? I, I just both. want your opinion. There's always both. There's both. always this like pull of, is it good? Is it bad? Are, are there ulterior motives? I mean, that's what's so fun about the show. You have no idea what's going to be happening. So. And Anna definitely had that good and that bad thing going on, especially before her and Jeremy like officially were kind of an item. Definitely. Um, so I mean, what was it like playing a character like that for you? I it was a, it was a whirlwind for sure playing Anna because um, whenever I went in for the role, she was just supposed to be a shy, geeky girl, and that's pretty <laughs> much it. You know, uh, definitely mortal. I thought. Yeah. I mean, it didn't say anything about her. Being a vampire or becoming a vampire, I'd not, I didn't know anything about her story arc. Uh, but I, I showed up and uh, they immediately said, you're gonna be fitted for contacts. And Ooh, she, what was that like? That, that was a key term for you are uh, a vampire? You are going to be a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that, that's, that's pretty much what that means. So I was just so excited about that. I mean, that was the last thing I expected because you know she had all those library scenes and it's like, oh, this girl's, you know. She's bookish. Yeah, exactly. You know, she's a little book smart. You. And, yeah, exactly. And then she ended up being dangerous and we, had, we thought she was evil. And then she ended up being really loving and there was a heart and a, a motive to her, you know, wanting to get her mom back. So. I don't know, I feel like she had just a great run on the show for the first season. You mentioned the contacts, which I've heard are just crazy to put in. Yeah. What about like the teeth <laughs> and the fangs? And talk to us about kind of what you had to go through to get into this yeah, people character's think costume. Yeah, people vamping out on the show takes like this long time. It really doesn't. I mean, the oh. contacts, they take the longest time because they cover the whole eye. Uh, where the whites of your eyes are, they replace it with red. So it covers the whole eye. Oh, wow. That definitely takes the longest and it's very interesting. Um, but How the, do they hold your eye open? I don't know. <laughs> and I definitely had to have people help me do that and, because uh, that freaks me out. What if you normally wear contacts like to be able to see? Does, does anyone on the show I wear have no idea. contacts? I have no idea, but I know that I don't wear contacts, so You're wearing lucky. jumbo vampire <laughs> contacts was definitely hard for me. But um, <laughs> the fangs, they were molded to my teeth, so you just pop those in, and mm -hmm. then they're little just CGI dots that they put on your face, and then they add all the creepy stuff in post-production. Technology. Which is really cool. I know, it. technology these days, Amazing. it makes, makes our lives so much easier. <laughs> now let's talk about another really hot topic on the show. Yeah. There are just so many attractive people on the Vampire Diaries. It's definitely a prerequisite for being on the show. Um, what was it like working with some of the guys? I mean, did you ever get like nervous? Oh my Harping gosh. Fast? Yeah, they're I mean, so I, cute. They're so attractive. I mean, I think the CW that that's like a criteria that they have to meet they have to be like a certain <laughs> amount of hotness um, because just Ian is just so charming. I mean, he is Damon Offset. I mean, he's so charming and he's so attractive. But I learned a lot from him. I mean, he was definitely more of my mentor figure, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, we had that banter back and forth, which was fun. And Steve and I actually knew prior to being on the show. Oh, we cool. hung out, so that was cool. I already knew him and we uh, I think we had such great chemistry on the show and it came across off screen or on screen because of our off screen chemistry. Uh -huh. I mean, we were constantly laughing like crazy. Inside jokes, I mean, like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> so he's great. I can't say enough good things about those boys. They're all so great. <laughs> oh amazing. man. Yeah. So just quickly before we finish things up, is this gonna be like a love square? Because I heard that that's <laughs> what you said. It totally makes sense. I don't know. Bonnie is not gonna be happy. Her no. nose is gonna be bleeding. Hey, oh. She's gonna be doing more spells. <laughs> it's gonna be crazy. <laughs> Who knows? I mean, I'm all for a love square. I mean, I've just been throwing things out there. I mean, people have all of their predictions, and so do I. So I mean, if it's a love square, if it's a battle royale, I mean, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm down for whatever. You are ready to go, oh, girl. I, I believe in Anna, and I think Team Anna believes in Anna. So uh, we'll see what happens. We'll, she, we'll see if she makes it out alive. Very okay. awesome. <laughs> well, we cannot wait to see. So excited. Cool. Thank so you excited. guys so much. Thank you, Elise, for stopping thank by. This you. was lots of fun. Oh, and really quickly, how about oh, Paris? Oh, well, well, thank yeah, you very much. You're, you're headed out to Paris <laughs> with to TBD. France. What's I going am. on? Fill us in. Yeah, I'm going to be seeing all of the fans there for a Vampire Diaries convention, so it's going to be madness, and I'm going to be working on my French on the plane right there. 
<laughs> so uh, I guess I'll see everyone there. Yeah, yeah, what is it like having foreign fans? I mean, it's an American show, so to have a following yeah. outside of America is pretty cool. I can't even fathom it. I mean, I've seen videos on YouTube of like uh, our, our voices being dubbed in with like a different language, which is so, so crazy to me. But yeah. I mean, I, I'm thankful to everyone. I mean, I get messages from all over the world on Twitter from German fans, French fans. I mean, it's all over, so it's crazy. That is so cool. Yeah, it's I love cool. it. What are you most looking forward to? When, in, 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 in France? France? Yeah. Oh man, just meeting everyone. Yeah, I mean, I hear it's going to be madness. I, I'm going with Nina and Candace and Michael, and uh, it's, it's going to be great. Very um, cool. Yeah. It's your first time there, too. I know. I Keep your fingers crossed for me. Uh, I don't do well with plane rides, so uh, <laughs> however many hours it is, I think it's 12 hours. So uh, It's a doozy, but yeah. you'll be fine. Whew, You're we'll going to be fine. Just take a nap. Take <laughs> a nice, long nap. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining thank us you. today. This thank was lots you. of fun. Yeah. And we can't wait to see what happens next season. Me, too. In the Vampire Diaries. Love it, too. <laughs> Make sure you guys stay posted to Clever TV for all the info mm -hmm. on the Vampire Diaries. You know that we've got you hooked up. Once again, Melise Chow, thanks for coming into the studio. I'm Dana Ward with Jocelyn Davis, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. <laughs>